if he, and even if he does get some poke down, you're still going to need some really big plays from the Cassiopeia, the Evelyn, or even the Alistair in terms of team initiates. So we will be jumping into game one to find out how it all plays out on paper. CJ just seems to have a slight edge in the picks and bans. Maybe they plead it up. Let's find out how it plays out, though, in game number one. Space back for a little bit and then frozen the lane as it now comes up. There's the flash headbutt backwards for Space and he's going to tumble out of it, but the Ignite's already on him. The damage comes in, but he wants to get the kill on to Bray. He almost does with the silver bolts, but can't get it. There's Space just taking a headbutt pulverize auto attack uh -oh. and Hojin. Hojin has caught no flash on this guy and Emission's just going to put a ton of damage onto him. He just needs one more barrel and he can't find the angle as Smeb and Gorilla show up. Tears of Teleport coming in from Shy. Emission gets one more body stop. There's Alan Gale and the shield from Mad Life. Emission just flashes out to buy himself some more time as Prey gets caught by Space and there's the Equalizer right onto Shy and Coco. Coco has to flash out a double kill for Kuro. Meanwhile on the bottom Space does get the 1v1 win as Smeb is now caught in the pit. No flash there. Howling Gale. This Dragon Pit is the Pit of Doom as Space picks up a double kill. I don't even know how that got set up right there with Hojin <laughs> sticking around in the Dragon Pit. Looking around here, but it looks like nothing going to come of it. Prey is 6 right now starting to Oh, oh, ambition's coming go. in. He wasn't seen by the Scuttle Crab, and Bray's gonna get knocked up by the Alan Gale. There's the Ignite. I mean, the explosive cast, but the flash comes out as it wasn't used just yet. Gorilla gets caught. He's gonna be condemned. But with his ultimate, he's not taking too much damage. Space still trying to make something work with the true damage from the Silver Bolts, but it's not enough. They have to back out. Yeah, Prey surviving because he had that flash, saw Ambition tossing the cask out, and not really a potential for CJ to get a kill after that. Of course, heal and flash still uh -oh, up. Oh, and the lane. Equalizer, Shy, no escape. He actually has to just go forward, and he can't get the knockback onto Smeb in time, and Smeb will just walk out of tower range after taking two hits. Yeah, that early dragon is helping the Tigers. News not being taken by the Koo Tigers because I don't want to fight them right uh -oh. now. Oh, they could get poked so easily by this Corky. Yeah, they got a lot of damage down onto it now, though, so it's a little dangerous. The Helper coming in first for Shy right in the thick of things, but Mad Life did get a lot of damage. And Space is on top of the Equalizer. He gets caught by Kuro and the Equalizer. Mad Life has to jump away as Kuro gets another kill. Prey gets the third, and Coco has to put down the Emperor's Divide to help Shy escape. But what a disaster for CJ Entis as Smeb comes in for another, and Shy has to flash out at least denying the ace, but that is no consolation prize. Questionable dragon here again. Yeah, I mean, they seem they, they, really committed to this. They're also not controlling the chokes, and this is a great flank because CJ only has so much well, disengage. Shy there goes go. forward, and he does get the snare onto Kuro. Kuro gets a two-man stun with the gaze, but Coco not able to follow up, and now Space's ultimate has also been used, and there's a three-man knockup coming in from Gorilla, and the headbutt out onto Shy. Coco, Ambition all have to run away. Ambition eventually gets burned down. Space was caught by Hojin, and Coco just can't do enough from afar, and the Kuto Tigers get another three-man kill this time, and they'll quietly take the dragon. Coco in this particular game, and now here we go, moving forward into the mid lane. Oh, there's the body side, explosive cast. There's the snare onto Bray, but he's trying to get out with the heal. Space trying to catch up with the equalizer, slowed him down just enough. Now Hojin in the front, and Shy is trying to deny enough damage from Space, but they have to run away under the sun turret, and Kuro just charging forward, trying to get the kill onto Shy, and they'll help get it as Prey gets the last hit. Oh no, Kuro gets the hit onto the kill. Prey takes down the tower. And Oh, and there's the flash, petrifying gaze, and he gets a lot of damage onto Space. The poison is just gonna tick down. And Space goes down with just one cycle of spells from Kuro. Look at the damage Kuro is doing, and there's Equalizer not gonna find Coco. If it had hit, that would have been a little while longer. Shy getting blocked by these empowered minions, and he's just gonna take a lot of damage from this rumble as Hojin shows up. And Smep will get out. Coco going in onto Hojin, but Space just cannot go forward comfortably. There's the Emperor's Divide. Now from across the wall, Space trying to do damage, but Kuro shows up with a petrifying gaze, and there is the Monsoon just to keep Coco healed up over the poison. Finally, CJ gets the fight they want, where they can use all those disengage abilities to clog a choke point, but it's just way too late right now with a 14k gold uh -oh. lead. Ambition body slamming forward and gets the explosive cast on Kuro, but it's not far enough for Space to catch up and do damage. Now Kuro is low on mana, so CJ trying to make advantage of that, and Hoji comes in, nice equalizer coming in for Smeb to cut that off, but Space goes forward, gets one kill, but he'll just get taken out in a 2v1. Yeah, they kill Hojin, but Prey and Kuro all over space in that fight. And Kuro may not have a lot of mana, but he does have a decent amount of regen right now. Won't be able to close the game quick enough. Whoa, and Coco goes in, a beautiful effort to buy back three.
three men from the Tigers under tower, but the Equalizer keeps CJ Entis at bay and Space takes too much damage, goes down. Ambition gets a shutdown onto Prey, but only one man down for the Tigers as Gorilla comes in, gets the triple kill for Kuro, and that's going to be the game in favor of the Tigers. Great Azir play from Coco. It was Honestly, beautiful. it was a beautiful curve on the Sand Soldier engaged straight into the ultimate, but they're just too far behind right now. He had to do something to see if they could hold on. That wasn't enough in the end, and now the game will go over to the Tigers. And the Tigers kicking this off 24-4 kill score, 9-0 to zero tower score as they lead the match 1-0 after the first set. Yeah, nicely played by them. They look more together than we've seen them previously this season, more decisive uh, praise positioning, which we...